I didn't fall asleep during Raw this week. I fell asleep beforehand. Hi, hey, hello, what's up? Welcome to a Market Down production. This is Danny's Raw Fast Forward. Uh, this is where I, Jake Hurwitz, uh, fast forward the Raw and then tell you about it because, oh my God, it's three hours. Did you know that? Oh my God, it's three fucking hours. Anyway, this show started off with one Kevin Owens and uh, one Seth Rollins making two people that the show started off with. And uh, Kevin Owens came out in a cowboy hat, but you see he was wearing it sideways. So it looked even sillier than cowboy hats do on a person like Kevin Owens. Him and Seth came out for Kevin Owens show. They had Elf Academy on. This was kind of great. I'm loving. We all thought it was so dumb that RK Bro dropped the tag titles to Alpha Academy out of nowhere, but they've been great. They've been so charismatic. It's been really good, actually. And then they had it back and forth talking about how, the, no offense, but we're going to take the titles off you. And then Chad had the really good line of character motivation of, you've been to WrestleMania. I've never been on the card. Like, you're talking about your tickets to WrestleMania. What about me? I'm like, oh my God. Even the heel versus heel dynamic of this feud has character motivation. Oh my God. It's so crazy how the, the best parts of Raw are the tag division and the women's division and everything else doesn't matter. Oh God, it's it's good. And then they had a match. I'm not a big fan of having two thirds of the match from next week happen on Raw, but it was good. Owens and Rollins immediately have great tag team chemistry. So I can't wait. That was a little weird because Gable dragged Owens to the opposite corner just so Rollins can tag in after he missed the moonsault. So it kind of was a little forced. But other than that, great match. Great open and Raw. Great start. If, if, uh, almost squashed T-Bar, who fucking cares? Oh my God, it was over before I, I don't even know what happened because I just right through, you know? But I figured I'd mention it because he hasn't been on TV in weeks. Probably won't be on TV for another few weeks. So he's going to win the battle royale. Who cares? Who cares? I might cut this. Okay, next up we had the whole Raw Women's Division basically. And it was Becky, uh, do drop, 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 do drop, and uh, Nikki almost a superhero versus Bianca Belair, Rhea Ripley, and Liv Morgan. So Becky and two people who literally never win matches versus Rhea, Bianca, and someone who doesn't really win matches anymore, unfortunately. And uh, this was a good match. The crowd was really into it because it was presented like a big deal. So it felt like a big deal. Uh, this built up WrestleMania, nice. Both teams got promos beforehand. Uh, Nikki had a weird moment. She looked like she was doing, I guess she was doing her pose, but like it looked like she was reaching out for a fist bump while everyone was walking away. Kind of felt sorry for her. I mean, I feel sorry for her for a lot of reasons lately, but you know. Uh, yeah, they treated this like a big deal. It felt like it. You know, the crowd got super into it. Becky and Bianca interacted somewhat, but mostly when Becky and the heels were in control. So, you know, it's a teaser of the WrestleMania match. Becky kept using Bianca's hair until Bianca, in one really creative spot where she pulled her into the ring post was good. Uh, but then Bianca got sick of it and just whipped the ever-loving shit out of Becky. Oh my god, her stomach started welting up pretty much immediately. Uh, and yeah, then she pinned. Guess who she pinned? Yeah, of course. She pinned Nikki. Who else would she pin? Fuck you, Marvel. Superheroes suck. I think that's WWE stance. I don't know. But yeah, honestly, really good build to WrestleMania. Really simple. Nothing crazy. All Becky's character motivation makes perfect sense. Bianca's character motivation makes sense. Hell, even Rhea and Nikki's make sense. Liv and Dewdrop are kind of directionless. I mean, Nikki is also directionless because she's never going to win a match again. But, you know, good stuff. After that, we had the dirtiest of dogs coming out and Robert Rude, Bobby Rude, Bobathan Rude, whatever you would like to call him, was taken on Tommaso Ciampa, this guy. I don't know. Dude, there used to be this thing called NXT. It was a fucking shit, bro. It was so good, man. The wrestling was always great. The feuds were great. They were so personal. He was feuding with this guy, Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Sports Entertainment. I... His name escapes me, but oh my god, they have such a great feud. 
It was fantastic. And whatever happened to that? Whatever happened to NXT? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, Dolph came out looking like and Robert Roode took on Champa and Champa won, which is good, but he won via roll up. And once again, why are we protecting Bobby Roode with roll ups? Just fucking pin him. Everyone else pins him. The Dirty Dogs can lose a 2 on 1 handicap match. No one gives a fuck. Let's champ at his finisher. How is he going to truly really get over if people don't know when the end of the match is coming? Like, uh, it's like they were so close, so close. That's the only reason I'm talking about this, because of how Dolph was dressed and because of the stupid end. And otherwise, I wasn't even going to talk about this, because it doesn't matter. 24-7 bullshit is probably next. Whew, okay, so some bullshit, 24-7 stuff. Who cares? Uh, Ray and not Hook Mysterio lost to the Hurt. Why are they still called the Hurt Business? What? You're not the Hurt Business. Why are you even together? You guys are feuding. This, this is the kind of shit that insults people's intelligence and it's like you know it doesn't matter because it's so microscopic on the card but like you know this kind of stuff that you, how are you gonna trust the company when they do shit like this they don't explain it and it's just supposed to take it also uh montez bro nope not montez you're great montez you're gonna be wwe champion one day dawkins hawkins hawkins bro you need beards like not it's kind of patchy, man. I, I, I don't. Maybe I never noticed it before, but like this week, I really noticed it. I'm not trying to brag or anything, but anyway, Street Profits beat RK Bro. Fantastic, yo! Fatal Four Way WrestleMania, Rollins and Owens, Alpha Academy, RK Bro, Street Profits ladder match, not a ladder match, whatever. Preferably ladder match, though. Yo, let's go. Let's do it. Montez beat Orton pretty clean. The end of like bat Orton looked like he took the splash bad. He looked like it Montez landed on his head a little bit. Uh, I think you see him talking after the match, so hopefully Orton's alright, but let's go. The bro, I was already interested in this division and now it's everything's getting more exciting. That's kinda weird. Some hmm. Something's not right. Keep your guard up, people. Something bad's coming. Also, hey, did you guys know Riddle is a stoner? Bro, he, he smokes weed, like, all the time. Probably backstage. You know what? I'm gonna, he does it with Vince. They're cool. That's why Vince loves him so much. He turned him on to it. He really opened up his worldview, you know? Made him see things clearly and think, oh, maybe I was too harsh on, on people that smoked weed for pain relief. And, you know, uh, maybe... Maybe this guy's on to something. Or maybe he's just like, look at this fucking stoner. Oh my god. Anyway, R Riddle like cotton mouth. So that protected them in defeat. Because, you know, Riddle like cotton mouth and pff, had cotton mouth. It fucking sucks, bro. You need, you can stay. There's not enough water in the world sometimes, you know? I don't do drugs. But James does. James does drugs. So does Eric. <sighs> what if. What if I told you, um, I never saw the movie, uh, that Stone Cold Steve Austin and Vince McMahon were going to be wrestling at WrestleMania 38? Yeah, 38, and not each other. They're going to be in separate matches. I know it's, I'm like glossing over the fact that both can be wrestling and they really shouldn't, but like, just, that's the world we're fucking living in, man. We're going to get Vince. McMahon versus Pat McAfee. Oh, God. It's gonna happen. They referenced it on the show. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh, God, if Cody shows up later. So Finn Balor won the U.S. title. I'm not gonna lie, cause I'm a mark. I kind of popped for it, cause I don't know. Part of me was like, oh, you're just gonna keep beating Finn Balor. So, but I kind of made it bad right away because Damian turned heel in the most generic way. I was like, look how these people motivated you to win. I was champion for blah 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 days, and I never got that. Yeah, you did, bro. Like, you're a fucking success story, man. Like. You're an NXT success story. 
what? The crowd enjoyed Yuri Osaida Reign. It's some great matches. That triple threat with Drew and Sheamus, fantastic. Bro, you, <sighs> this was whack. This was, this, this is not going to go anywhere well. He could have just moved up the card and been a bigger face and challenged for the WWE title, but, oh uh, yeah, it's gone. Oh man, now it's time for the main event, which is Edge waiting for his WrestleMania opponents to come out after he was saying last week he wanted a, a challenge at WrestleMania. So he came out, cut a whatever promo, and then, and then the music hit. Wow, we are only smoking mirrors. Uh, oh no, sorry, it was a. Uh, it was AJ Styles. AJ Styles came out, and we're gonna get this match. It's great. It's fantastic. And then Edge turned heel, which I've been saying to do for months. So you're welcome. Although not to complain about getting something I asked for a while ago, but kind of didn't make any sense. But it's Edge, and I trust him to make sense of it next week, and at least have some character motivation. But yeah, cool, cool. No Cody Rhodes, though, and he, Edge specifically said my Rhodes to WrestleMania in his promo, so I really thought uh, that was going to be the direction, but yeah, yeah, uh, you know what, Raw wasn't bad, it was not bad, uh, solid, solid 13 out of 18, you know, pretty, pretty good, not going to lie, good it was simple, effective building to WrestleMania show. I don't have many major complaints. Honestly. So yeah, not bad. Oh uh, yeah, please like the video, subscribe, uh, comment, I don't know. Upvote me to Karma Heaven, baby. Uh, Cause we're trying to get to 100 subscribers. So yeah, please subscribe. Happy day after your birthday, James and or happy birthday to whoever's watching this whenever you're watching it because it's always somebody's birthday <sighs> anyway go home i'll be honest with you i'm not as funny as danny and is you know i'm not we tonight